Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our last mixer, sad times. Random team number five is it in this configuration. I think we've got some other hit parade stuff lying around, so keep an eye for more on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Here are all the boxes here. Um, I think everyone real knows about our uh, college rules. If we get a Kyrie Irving autographed jersey, right, from Duke jersey or something like that, it'll go to the Mavs, the team that they're currently on. If they're retired, it'll go to the team they played for the longest. All right, big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spot straight up. Congrats to the people who won your way in. Congrats again. We got some combos here in the football to make 30 spots, and then all 30 baseball teams are in, all 30 basketball teams are in. One dice roll uh, to randomize all, three, uh, all four lists. Six and a five, 11 times. Your name's first. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleventh and final time. All right, so there's one for the football section, baseball section, basketball section, and then eleven times for the NFL teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Got Dallas all the way down to Atlanta. And we'll go through these lists a little more closely um, in a little bit. But here's the first half of the list. Here's the second half of the list. And let's alphabetize by team. And then you can see your names again there in the second half right there. All right, now, uh, baseball team, six and a five, 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. Giants down to Padres. All right, there's the first half of the list right over here. Second half of the list right there. And now let's alphabetize by team. And again, there's the first half of the list right there and the second half of the list right here. So when we're trading, we're only trading within the specific sport. So baseball team for baseball team, basketball team for basketball team. All right, six and five, 11 times for the NBA. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, times. Pacers down to Knicks. First half of the list, down to the second half of the list right here. And then we'll alphabetize by team. And here's the first half of the list again, and the second half of the list right here. We're gonna pause the video for some trades. We'll open up the trade window. This is also a good time, like if you missed your teams or something like that, it's also a good time to ask me, hey, can I see my teams again, Joe? So we'll do all of that during the trade window. We're gonna pause the video and, uh, and we'll be right back. Stick around. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done. So all of those lists remain the same. Here's the football list. Here's the baseball list. And here is the hoops list. All right. We're gonna start with the cards first. Good luck. This is a Jaspi exclusive. Thanks, Hit Parade.
Graded card. PSA slab. Do I have my football list up? I do not have my football list up. That's not the mouse, that's the bell. All right, I got the football list up. Bam! It's CD Lamb, snakeskin. From 2023 Prism Football, PSA 10. Nice. All right, good start. Another football box. Lucas Larson has the Cowboys, by the way. Another graded. And from downtown, that's what downtown New York looks like. If you've never been there, you don't need to. You just saw it. From 2020, Panini Donner's Optic Football, Saquon Barkley downtown, PSA 9. Love the downtown parallels. And that's going to be for Nick Stober and the G-Men. All right, there you go. Football. Cards right over there. And we got two boxes of high end baseball. Another graded card. Like seeing the grades here. Another PSA slab. It's going to be Mookie Betts. 2022 Bowman's Best Red Lava Refractor PSA 10. Woo! Five out of five. We, we were looking at um, MVP odds earlier this evening. And as of today, May 29th, 2024, Mookie Betts, your uh, odds on favorite for NL MVP. Who's got my Dodgers? Lucas Larson, Lucas. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice. All right, another one. And then we're gonna go into the full-size memorabilia. Another graded card. I like seeing the graded cards here. It is Mookie Betts again from 2014. Bowman Baseball. Mookie Betts Prospect Auto PSA 9. I don't think he signed since this set. In like trade on trading cards. Wow. Now this is Red Sox edition, and that's gonna be for Alan Murdoch. That's awesome. Let's see what the scouting report was back in the day. Resume, earned Red Sox minor league offensive player of the year honors in 2013. Topped Boston farmhands with 38 stolen bases. Hit 341 in the Carolina League, South Atlantic League, uh, all-star pick. Skills, identifies the spin of the pitch early. Takes patient, relaxed approach to each at bat. Sure, still does. Generates surprising pop with quick hands especially for his size. Smart and aggressive runner. And then of course the bowling. Has bowled an 800 series and a 300 game. Nicknamed after base, uh, basketball player Mookie uh, Blaylock. His given name is Marcus. Recently took up golf. There's Alan. Pretty sweet card, Alan. Nice. Two Mookies, two different teams. And like I said, as of, as of today, he is the odds on favorite. To, for NL Rookie of the Year. All right, uh, let's stick with baseball. Let's do the triple play box. Series two triple play box, autographed edition. Hand numbered right there as well. 
Hey, hey, no worries, Alan. You know, thanks for thanks for getting your at bats in. Keep your at bats in, ladies and gentlemen. And you're gonna get some hits sooner rather than later. All right, what do we got here? Oh, we'll give you all the different certificates of authenticity that they use. And what do we have here? We've got. Schmen. That's got to be Adley, right? In an all-star jersey? Or no, they're one of their, their city connects? It's officially licensed, so let's check it out. Um, Mark with the Orioles, by the way. There's all of your, your authenticity stuff. All-star game. Nice. From the Seattle All-Star Game, that's a great patch. Really love the colors from that All-Star Game. You got All-Star Game on the back right there as well. The retail tags are still attached. The Nike swoosh, this is pretty sick. Got the Oreo logo right there as well, that's awesome. All right, I'm gonna actually fold this up a little bit nicely after the break is over, Mark. Set this over here for now. Should be a photo in here. And it is. It is. It is Marlon Bird. Remember Marlon Bird? There's the authenticity right there. Right? A former all-star Mar Marlon Bird. That's for the Cubs, that's gonna go to Nick Stober. Nick Stober probably remembers Marlon Bird. All right, and then there's a little baseball in here. And so this, obviously, if there's no team stamp on it, most of them won't have that. We're going to have to send it to the team they are currently on. Any guesses on this autograph? Some good penmanship. Probably able to figure that out. No, it's, the name is Alexander Ramirez, but. But this is, uh, I, I mean, there's a lot of. This is, okay, I found it. Alexander Ramirez is kind of a common name, right? Um, this is a, uh, a Mets prospect. I'm going to flip screens just for a second. There's the same autograph right there. So he's with the Mets double A team. Do we have any more information on him? Alex Ramirez, outfield prospect, number 16 
on the Mets uh, top prospects list on MLB.com. Oh, I and mean, you can see you can see the name right in there too, Alexander Ramirez. All right, so that's going to go to the Mets. That will be for that. That'll be for Brett and the Mets. All right, so that was your triple play. All right, now let's pivot to some basketball. Three Pete, so yeah, you guessed it. There are three items in here as well. It's basketball, eight by 10, and something else. Maybe they mix it up a little bit. And this is uh, series one right there as well. First one out of the gate is going to be the jersey. Let's actually set this box back over here. It's also an authentic jersey. I like seeing that. And that is Max Struss. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's just the jersey with the land on it. Cleveland! This is for you! I like the detail right here. The, lawn, uh, the uh, retail tags are still on there. We've got... That on the bottom right there, that's really cool. And that will be for Eugene and the Cavs. All right, next item is the eight by 10. And that's gonna be... Nice, look at all that. Oh, that space that Dominique Wilkins gets. Nice. Nick Stober. There you go, Nick. Another item for you. Another 8x10. All right. Third item should be the basketball. Box should have a little sticker inside that'll tell me who the player is. Ooh, we got some color on the ball that might suggest the team. On a city edition Celtics ball, so it's going to go to it's going to go to the Celtics. This should be pretty easy to easy to figure out. Oh, you got an inscription right there as well. Can you, it's a little hard to see here. Got good penmanship, you can read his name right there. Yep, D. Brown. Got a little inscription right here as well. 
and a really cool, uh, really cool looking basketball. Boston Celtics. That's gonna be that's gonna be for you, Oliver. Nice. Now let's get into another autograph basketball. Authenticity card with that basketball. All right. Oh, interesting. Interesting. This. Who am I? Uh, recently retired basketball player. 6'7", 238. 6'7", 238. Former first round pick. Former top three pick. Small forward, power forward, played for one, two, three, four, five, six teams my entire career. And 10 time NBA All Star, um, an NBA scoring champion, NBA All Rookie first team, an NCAA champion, Final Four most outstanding player, my number 15 retired by this school, two time USA basketball male athlete of the, uh, of the year. McDonald's All-American ended up with 28,000 points, over 28,000 points, averaged 22 and a half points a game. 7,800 rebounds, 6.2 rebounds a game. 3,400 assists, 2.7 assists per game. A, uh, a gold medalist in Beijing, London, and Rio de Janeiro. Braun, he's been on four different Olympic teams and bronze in 2004 in Athens. Wow. Yeah, played 19 seasons in the NBA. Went to there. You go. Oliver's got it. Carmelo, Carmelo Anthony, drafted in 03 by the Nuggets. Former Laker. Now it'll be interesting to see if there's no team indication like that. D Brown basketball. It'll go to the team he played for the longest. What team did he play for the longest? Denver. New York? We'll look at basketballreference.com to, to determine that. No, it's looking like it's a, at least, looks like a standard basketball. Yeah, there's no team affiliation on here. Try to. Use that really quick. Nice. So there's no team. There's the Fanatic sticker right there. No team affiliation there. So what team did he play for the longest? Let's go to basketballreference.com. And it's close, but he played one more season than he did it in New York. Eight seasons with Denver, seven seasons with New York. So this will go to the Denver Nuggets, and that's going to go to Lucas. There you go, Lucas. Nice. And I don't know if you can... Maybe I should... Get this out of the way.
you can see Carmelo Anthony right there. See the <laughs> All right, uh, football helmet. I like ending with the baseball bat. There you go, autograph football helmet, VIP edition. So, with big hit potential in here as well. They, they even last a Friday, Rex. All right, helmet time. I think these helmets are actual helmet helmets. They're heavier than the than the other full size custom helmets that we often get. Right. Helmet. You saw a breaker named Joe Jasper pull a Brady Moss duel? No, I don't think I could top that. That guy sounds pretty awesome though. Who am I? I'm an active running back in the NFL. Former third round pick, played for one team my entire career. I, I was an NL, NL? NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year, a two-time second team All-Pro, a five-time Pro Bowler, part of the PFWA All-Rookie Team. Currently in my career, I have 5,829 rushing yards, 54 rushing touchdowns, 505 receptions for 4,219 receiving yards, and 23 receiving touchdowns. Who am I? From Atlanta, Georgia, 5'10", 215 pounds. Drafted in 2017, third rounder in 2017. It was at Alabama my first year and then went to Hutchinson Community College for a season before going to Tennessee for a couple seasons. Oh yeah, he was, uh, I have vague memories of this. My short time at the University of Alabama was quote, a rough experience. I had knee surgery during the preseason, then redshirted as a true freshman and unable to break into the recruiting class that featured Derrick Henry, TJ Yeldon, and Kenyon Drake. And then due to behavioral issues, I was banned from practicing with the team suspended from their bowl game. Transferred to a community college, and then went to Tennessee and found more solid footing there. Yep, Will's got it. Lights, Camara, action. On a white Saints helmet, black ink, and that gold really pops there. Nice, congrats. I lost the chat up there, what happened? That is awesome. There's the uh, Beckett sticker right back there. It's all, the, all like, you know, Certified safety stuff. It's like a proper helmet, right? Awesome. Saints, that's going to be... Uh, Brett. Brett Rogers, who won a spot in the filler, got randomized to Saints. Get this helmet. That's really cool.
have enough space for this break. All right, last one is the baseball bat. See the series two right there. Good luck. On the, on the back of that cap right there. All right, who am I? Former catcher, switch hitting catcher. Played for one team my entire career and currently on their coaching staff. A three-time All-Star, two-time World Series champion, a gold glover, a silver slugger award winner, a golden spikes award winner, and part of this team's Hall of Fame. Is he one of the few guys that... No, maybe not. I was going to say, I thought he was one of the few guys that that has won a uh, Little League World Series, a, um, a College World Series, and a World Series, but... Uh, no, not Jorge Posada. Think of another switch hitting catcher, kind of of that era though. Come on, Rex, your divisional rival, Yachty. You've watched him for how long? Guy doesn't. It's not a switch hitter. But. In the in the Jorge Posada era, though, another switch hitting arrival of Jorge Posada. That should start giving it away. Uh, up until Carlos Ruiz, I caught an MLB record for no hitters. There you go. Thank you. Great work, Jag. It's Jason Veritek. Tech, Red Sox. Nice break for the Red Sox. They got that Mookie Betts earlier. And now gets the Jason Veritek. I'm right there. Pretty nice, nice stuff. And there you go, gang. What a fun break. Thanks everybody for getting into all of these hit parade breaks. Keep your eye out for more of those hit parade breaks. Yeah, that's Alan with the Red Sox. Congrats to you, thanks for getting in, man. Appreciate you, appreciate everybody. A lot of fun stuff here. Thanks for watching, thanks for breaking with me. I'm Joe, I'll see you next time for the next one, bye-bye.